Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our second review of the week, and that is Kill Bill Volume 2. Now, last week we reviewed Kill Bill Volume 1, this week it is Volume 2, and of course I am Caleb Johnston, and joined, uh, I, 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 I fucked that up. I'm joined here by Cameron. Cameron, how are you doing? I am doing perfect. I was going to use a line that I've used before, so I'm not going to do it. I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm doing pretty well myself, and you ready to talk about Kill Bill Volume 2? Uh, maybe. Well, okay, so Kill Bill Volume 2 is the continuation of Kill Bill Volume 1, because Kill Bill is technically just one really long movie. And basically, it concludes the bride, now known as uh, Beatrix Kiddo, which is her really, really weird real name. And she is fucking gonna go and finally kill Bill and get rid of the rest of the deadly Viper assassination squad. And get her revenge. But she has a surprise when she gets to Bill's mansion. So Cameron, let's start talking. What are your thoughts on Kill Bill Volume 2? Um, not as good as the first one. I don't... I, the first one is really, really, really good. The second one is really, really good. I don't... I don't know. It's hard to explain. Yeah, like, my thing is, Kill Bill Volume 1, I don't feel like it ever slowed down, but I would say there's a good 30 minutes in this movie that are really slowed down. Yeah, yeah. Also, there's grave punching. <sighs> the woman punches her way out of a grave because an old Asian man taught her how to punch wood, which sounds kind of dirty if you really think about it. Possible sex tape? Exactly. Maybe. You could, like, a sex tape of her punching an old Asian man's penis? Yeah. That would probably hurt, uh, like, being punched in the dick. Some guys like that. It's called but like, busting. Yeah, but, like, man, it's gotta fucking hurt. Like, I don't <laughs> want my dick to be bruised. <laughs> Especially, but, like, Uma Thur I don't want Uma Thurman to punch my penis. That, that'd just be horrible. But, people, we aren't judging you if you're into that kind of thing. Oh, because no. It's not our cup of tea. It's not, I just don't want to be punched in the balls, you know? I accidentally hit myself in the balls too many times. I hit myself in the balls today on accident, you know? Oh, okay, let's get back to the movie review. <laughs> anyway, and nonetheless, so my thing with Kill Bill Volume 2 is I think it did capture that feeling of the first one, but at the same time, there was just something about it where it was kind of slow, and, like, I felt interested in Bill's brother, but then I just felt like every... Don't, okay, whenever I say it slowed down, I mean whenever uh, she got shot by Bill's brother, which also, I'm sorry, but... I get that this is, you know, Kill Bill and everything's all overdone, but she got shot in the chest with a shotgun. Is anyone, like, she didn't get any medical help? Well, you throw logic out the window when the idiot that is... Okay, first of all, Quentin, she's not an idiot, but go on. Quentin Bay. Oh my god, do not... His name should be. Don't even compare him to that idiot. Quentin Tyler Bay. Is that is horrible. You're comparing him to two Whoa. of the most the most terrible directors of the last ten years. The worst thing you could say after that is involving the word Shyamalan somehow. M Q Tyler. I think you need to just stop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, but again, like it's, I don't know. Just, there's something about Bill's brother that I didn't like. You know what I mean? Like I liked him, but I didn't. I will say this is I I'm, I've forgotten her name, but I believe her. Uh, Nickname in the Deadly Viper Assassination Squad, which is kind of a mouthful in itself, is like California Mountain Snake. A one eyed chick. Not only was she extremely hot, she was just badass. You're into the woman with one eye? I don't have a fetish for women with one eyes, but this particular woman with one eye did catch my eye. Just show me your internet history. Show me I don't want history. to, because you might find things you don't want to see. Uh, like. Uh, I'm. Chicks with one eye getting penetrated. Uh, no, uh, I don't have an eye. I'm not into the pirates. I don't believe you. Why are we keep getting back onto the topic of sex during this review? Because this movie is boring. People. This movie is okay. This one. movie has nothing happens in the second one that you should. Worry um, no, nothing happens in the second one that you should worry about besides the amazing climax of the first one and some really awesome action. Just watch like the last what forty minutes. Last forty, 40 minutes, minutes. Is pretty epic. Yeah, just watch that part. The, whatever the uh, the beginning doesn't matter. How does the beginning matter. not matter? The not beginning is Uma Thurman driving in black and white, talking about how awesome the first movie was. No, let no. 
We already know. Why do you have to be so self-centered to say, oh my god, I made a good movie? Because you, should, you have, have to no catch idea. people up. No, no, no. If you're an idiot to go out and see the second one without being the first one, whose fault is that? that you I'm saying you should going. at least re refresh the audience's memory. No, you should. Just, okay, so no, do you, you think that TV no, shows shouldn't have the previously happened. gone thing? You don't. A TV show and a movie are two different things. If you forget what happens in a movie like Kill Bill Volume One, you're you're an idiot. I'm just saying, you know, there could have been a detail. The, what happened? The the plot, the main thing that's trying to happen is in the title. You're trying to kill Bill. If you forget that, you're an idiot. That's a good point. Speaking of which, since this movie is like 10 years old, do we have to worry about spoilers? Uh, spoilers yeah. people. So anyway, Bill's death was fucking awesome. It, but that's one of I mean, that's just so badass. It's like... Because every single death in this, in both movies, are so overdone, and there's a big action sequence, you know, like her fight with a Lucy Liu's character or one-eyed. Per so I was really bad with names in these movies, uh, but. Uh, who, who? What was her? What was the black woman's name? Her the actor's name is uh, Vivica, I believe. <laughs> no. Okay, I said Vivica on accident one time, <laughs> and you're gonna hold it against me for the rest of my life. But then, it's just like, I mean, every single one, you know, there was a great action sequence, but with Bill, it was just like a little struggle, and then she did her fancy schmancy Asian old man heart thing. I'm going to learn that, and that's how I'm going to kill That's myself. very grim, but, but, but then... I'm joking, people. I wouldn't kill my Exactly, baby. and plus one thing, too, is I could just sit down. Is The thing is, you can survive with that. You just never have to walk again, and you can live with that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just seriously, but Bill, I will say this is, Bill was just like, how do I look? And then he took five steps and died. And also he had a big rant about Superman. That was kind of cool. Everyone should rant on Superman. But he said his favorite superhero was Superman. Well, he, that's why he deserved to die. It had nothing to do with the fact that he shot Uma Thurman in the head. He deserved to die because he liked Superman. Yes. But that's a very interesting logic. Not the fact that he was raising their daughter, who Uma thought was dead. No. No. You like Superman? You're going to get shot in the head. But Bill didn't get shot in the head. He got punched in the heart. Ne never mind. What? No. I'm saying that when I become a uh, Batwing... You're finally Batman. accepting that you're the Batman of Africa. That's good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're getting so, off topic. Anyway, <laughs> this, uh, it's, it's, honestly, I just realized something, is it's kind of harder to talk about this movie than it was the first one. Yeah. Nonetheless, anyway, uh, Kill Bill Volume 2, it's a good movie. It continues the first one well because Kill Bill is all just kind of one long movie. I learned that some people kind of hate this and then others like it more than the first. Um. I'm one of those who hate it. See, I don't hate it at all. I think it's I think it's a really good movie. I think there's about 30 minutes that really slow down. But overall, I like the continuation from the first one. Uh, the acting was still on point. A bill was fucking amazing because you don't really just see his hands in this one. And also, Samuel L. Jackson makes a little cameo, and we all love that Samuel L. Jackson. Except for you, you hate Samuel L. Jackson, don't you? Oh, I, I hate him when he's not wearing an eye patch. Okay, that, that's fair enough. Um. So basically, Kill Bill Volume Two, I think it ended it really well. I love the uh, what I think one of my favorite things about this movie was you know after you know when they have the whole credits whenever they show everyone who played you know from both movies. At the very end, when it's showing Uma Thurman, it says you know as the bro as a Beatrix kid. That name is so fucking difficult to remember. Um, you know that name should have been given to Vivica's character. Why? Because it sounds black. I see. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, it says, uh, you know, uh, Beatrix Kiddo, a.k.a. The Bride, a.k.a. Black Mamba, and then it says, a.k.a. Mommy. I thought that was sweet. Did you cry? Because I know your your, your family history. It was crying. Okay, I did not cry during the movie. I did, Kill Bill did not make me cry. You're known for I am not known for crying in the movies. That's a different member of my family. It's just because the Angie tugged at my heartstrings does not mean that I... Some of the tissues okay, hey. aren't crusted. 
<laughs> oh my god. That, that's really gross. Like, that didn't even... <laughs> okay, anyway. Nonetheless, Kill Bill Volume 2, what would you give it out of 10? Uh, uh, I see. I would give it a 9.5. Is I still really enjoyed it, even though it wasn't quite as good as the first one. No. Did you just tell me no? Did you just say no to my review? I'm giving you to your your my re- no, it's not a movie. Yes, it is. It's still okay. It was still a really good movie. When that's the highest I would go. I I don't I don't know I still love so. You, okay, so if you think Kill Bill Volume One is Tarantino's best movie, where do you rank Volume Two? Uh, number two. So you're saying that all of Tarantino's other movies are under six out of ten. Pulp Fiction is yeah. six out of ten. Reservoir Dogs. Django and Shane. Yes. Oh, the, oh, Reservoir Dogs like a zero out of ten. You, it's a negative. You hate that movie so much. Reservoir Dogs is stupid and full of no one should ever watch. No, it's not that bad. Like, what? But like, Inglorious Bastards. Okay, that was good. You, why, why exactly do you hate Tarantino? Because he's stupid and he's overrated. And he likes to steal other people's movies and put his name on Anyway, Quentin Tarantino is my favorite director of all time. I think he's amazing. And, um, oh, so anyway, let, let's wrap this up, of course. Uh, so basically, yeah, feel free to you know hit the like button, favorite, subscribe. Do whatever you want. Put in the comment section. If you liked our review, say it. If you love Kill Bill, say it. If you hate Kill Bill, say it. If you think I'm awesome, say it. If you think Cameron's awesome, say it. If you think I'm an asshole. If you think if you want to give Cameron hate for not liking Quentin Tarantino and not liking this movie, uh, feel free. I mean, hey, say whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Unless it, I'm not going to get rid of it unless it's too mean. Like, I mean, really. He's not going to get rid uh, of it. Yeah, if it's too mean, I, I will definitely get rid of it. No, he won't. Why wouldn't I? I don't want some sort of comment saying Caleb is a faggot mask. Well, that, that I don't care about. Like, you can call me a faggot. I don't care. But, like, if it's, like, something horrible and personal that hurts me deep down, I will probably... You know, if it hurt, legit hurts my feelings, which is rare, then I will get rid of it. <laughs> Why is that so funny? This, was, this review was weird. This was a weird review. We got off topic and laughed a lot. And made jokes. It's not. Thirty minutes of this movie are boring. The rest of it's pretty good. Bill Bill was awesome. You can't deny that. Also, I forgot to mention. Whatever. I don't. Do I really have to mention who's in it? Because I already did that with the first review. No, you don't. Okay. Anyway, so should we kind of? That's what I am. Uh, to be. Or I am to be or what to be. If you need, the, if you just have to know the, I will say this: is people bitch about Wikipedia. Wikipedia is very accurate for movie stuff. Uh, I'm just saying. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, are we kind of dragging this ending on? Okay, I'm Caleb. Yes. That's it. So fuck off. Bye.